Look, I really thought long and hard about making this video. Let me make one thing clear first. I absolutely love the Galaxy Watch 6. I always supported the previous versions of the Galaxy Watch in general, despite some of its flaws. Moving forward, I will still do the same. However, however, I also believe that we, and I mean all of us, should really know what's going on behind closed doors. At the end of the day, we are the ones who are spending money for products that will ultimately be turned into products profits for corporations. I have been contacted by someone who's part of the engineering and testing team for the Galaxy Watch 6. If you appreciate the honesty as much as I do, this person has conveyed to me, make sure to like and subscribe for future updates on this, which is really our way of saying thank you. But also let me know in the comments below your experience so far. By the look of it, it seems that this issue was already discovered in the testing phase and it is now hitting more and more people who just bought the Galaxy Watch 6. As a matter of fact, it is more visible for the classic version. And believe it or not, this person bought the non-classic version in order to avoid what's coming now. I was given the opportunity to test an engineering sample of the Galaxy Watch 6 classic before it was released. In beta user trials, Google Play services was eating a lot of battery life and I got a terrible 15 to 16 hours from 100% to 0%. During the trial, I had sent bug reports and log files to Samsung of the issue. I ended up buying a Galaxy Watch 6 44mm non-classic. And this person works for a well-known telecom provider in the USA. What I can say, myself and others testing engineering samples, pre-mass production watches with a data port of the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic saw poor battery life. I noticed it was Google Play services drinking a lot of battery. Myself and other testers reported the problem with log files to our liaison. Again, I don't know what Samsung knows. I can say I saw this problem in the watch beta in May and June. This person is referring to One UI 5 watch beta, obviously. I imagine Samsung doesn't want their watch having a short battery. The marketing material specifications say the battery should be better than 15 or 19 hours. Yes, of course, there's something not optimized that's draining the battery. It could be hardware level Exynos operating system, Wear OS, or any app Google Play services. Apple has the vertical stack and makes all three, so they can optimize better. Samsung doesn't make all three parts of their phone, watch, laptop. So when the OS or Google's app is the problem, it takes longer to find the problem and then get the right people who can fix it. Apple, it's all in-house. The good news is it can be fixed and it should be fixed very soon if you ask me. The not so good news is that we, the consumers, are sort of beta tester for a product that needs more attention to details. As soon as this is fixed, I will of course update you and I truly appreciate your support here moving forward. Thank you for watching. At least you know what's going on. Peace out.